Well, you might say that there is an uh, element uh, of the so-called, uh, you know, of the Cold War, uh, with the rise of Putin again to the presidency for the third time. There's no question that President Putin would like to assert himself and want to send a message not just in the, to the Middle East, but to the whole world that Russia is a significant, major, global power to be reckoned with. So there is that element of certainly competing with the United States for a greater and greater sphere of influence, be that in Europe or be that in the Middle East. Syria, of course, represents an interesting case for, for, for Russia in particular because Russia has a naval base in Syria. Russia has very close relationship with Iran, uh, with Hezbollah. Uh, and so from the Russian perspective, that uh, by latter these relationships, they want to preserve this relationship basically almost at all costs. But they also know one thing, that since the demise of the Assad regime is certain, the question for them it will become how much longer will they support Bashar al-Assad and what price they may eventually pay for that kind of uh, support both by the, to, uh, the Syrian people as well by the Arab states who are now viewing uh, Moscow as a complicit to the day-to-day -day massacres in, in, in Syria. So, so Russia sooner will have, or, later will, or later will have to wake up and come to the conclusion, in my view, that there will be a limit for how much longer they can support Bashar Assad. And I think within, the, within a, a week or so perhaps a month, if not even you know, before that, they will have to strike some kind of a deal the Arab states, the United States, the European community, how to preserve their interest in Syria in particular uh, uh, in post-Assad era. And I think the West, the United States especially, I don't think it would uh, oppose making some kind of an arrangement. Certainly all of that would have to be done with the agreement, with the consent of the Syrian National Council, with the Syrian Free, um, uh, free Army. Uh, that is, the United States cannot make side deals just between Russia and the United States, but other players would have to be involved, of course, including Turkey. Uh, I think this, this kind of deal, perhaps, in the, in the making as we speak. Well, you know, um, Russia, in spite of the uh, elections, is far from uh, being a true democracy, and uh, this is just a given. I'm not surprised that there was, there was a crackdown against the demonstrator. I'm not surprised that they have limited or limiting uh, the uh, freedom of speech and, uh, and the freedom of writing. Uh, so this is, you know, this is part and parcel of how Putin, in, at least in his mind, can reassert his position, and specifically by this restive. Russian community who want more than they have been uh, offered or given over this year, specifically because economically Russia is doing well, but the ordinary people in the street are not doing that well. And so there's an outcry by the uh, Russian public. And Putin now is, has a serious dilemma. That is, if Russia really wants to project itself on the international scene, it cannot do so by using oil uh, as the only tool by which to project such power. Because the price of oil goes up and down, but foreign policy will have to have a strong foundation and consistency. Uh, so therefore, they're going to have, that is one problem. The second problem, how to pacify the public. Putin will have to, sooner than later, begin to try to strike again a balance. He will have to pay more attention to uh, Russian uh, needs in terms of education, in terms of uh, development, uh, opportunities, uh, and all of that and some. Uh, without which, I think uh, Putin will be facing considerably more and more dire situation. We hope that this will not be the case only for the sake of the Russian people. But there's no guarantee what might happen, you know, because uh, Putin is still think Cold War, he still goes with Cold War mentality, and that alone may stop him from looking at the larger picture.